guys, let's get creative or here or Protect Mr. Duck, whatever you want to call me. Today I'm going to show you how to insert custom meshes to Roblox. It's a brand new feature which was back in 2010 or something like that. It existed but they removed it and now it's back so that's awesome. They have polished it a lot, the, like the meshes themselves is actually collidable like any other block so it's not that it's just a square block if you make a bowl for example you can walk around in it and it's it's like unions basically but in mesh form which is amazing now you will have to do pretty low poly meshes because there's a 5000 triangle limit so far but roblox actually makes all meshes very smooth when you insert them so that's fine um I'm in Wings 3D, a great program, it's totally free, link in the description where you download it. Um, it's super simple, easy mood uh, to use. I will have a link to a great tutorial to learn the controls, because I won't show them in this video, but I will show you how to do the simple stuff. So you can click your mouse wheel button to look around in, your, in the program. Um, then you press the left mouse button to stop where you want to look, so for example if I want to look from here, there we go. This is what it would look like when you get in, and you can basically right click and this will come up, a menu. As you can see there is a few different shapes here you can choose from to begin with. I'm gonna choose a spare, and as you can see a small spare came up in here. Up here is four controls, you can have an object chooser, um, by clicking the object with this one you choose the whole object and you can for example right click uh, scale and let's say scale uniform and you can basically just drag your mouse to scale it so let's make a big um, sphere like that now to unchoose you press space next up we have this surface one you basically select surfaces to move them uh, it's great, you can click a surface you have already chosen to unchoose it, like this. Um, and it will be red, every single thing you choose will be red. So press space, undo it. Next we have the line one. I, I won't really use most of these, but I often just use the surface one. But yeah, this can you basically choose the lines. And there's one with the dots, where you choose the dots only. But let's go to surface and we can try this out. So if you go into the top, uh, or actually, if we press, I think it's a uh, C, yeah, uh, not C, but C, you know, the one that looks like an S, but it's C, uh, I don't know what it's called really. But now if we go into surface one, and you can drag like this, you can basically select this whole top. So if you look around, you can see the whole top is chosen. And I'm just going to do something really simple, like right click and uh, scale radially on the C one, so you can basically make it like super big like that, as you can see. It kind of looks like a mushroom, maybe you want to make a Mario mushroom. We could actually, if we undo that with this button, we could um, scale it uniformly to make a mushroom. Yeah, something like that. That looks like a little mushroom. But let's actually uh, press space. I'm just going to do this small part by pressing C again. We can probably, yeah, almost chosen it all. Uh, I'm just going to choose all of these surfaces and we can simply make this lower thing, lower part of the mushroom a, lit a little bigger because the head of it is kind of big. So yeah, let's see, like that. Then we can uh, scale uniformly too and we can make it like that, then uh, scale accessly by u the U value uh, to make it a bit longer, I don't know, that didn't really work as I thought, so let's undo that. Let's try the scale radially. I'm not uh, too good at any of these yet, but we can basically do really cool stuff, but let's just do that. So we have a little mushroom, uh, so all you have to do now is actually go to file over here, go to export and you have to pick object file so go to wave front uh, and in these marks I don't know what they are um, I only know what they are in Swedish so whatever but it's just a dot ob object basically in 
small form like that. Press it, and you will get to export it. I don't know if you can see this window, but it's basically the regular export window. T let's type mushroom to save it to the desktop, and that's it. So yeah, I will hop into studio and I will show you how to insert the object, so it should be on your desktop now. See you there. Alright guys, so now we are in studio, and now I'm going to show you how to make, how to upload your mesh file here. Go into model here at the top, go to advanced objects, so this will come up. Now you can search over here, search for mesh, and you will see mesh part, so we can drag that right into the building window. And you will see this checkered part. Click it, then you go into properties. If you don't have properties, go to view, and you will basically see properties here. You can basically click that. So this will come up, and you can see this little button next to the mesh ID here. Press it, and it will come up this window. Uh, go to desktop, and search for what your object. As you can see here, here I have mushroom. Choose the object file and then you click open. Now this will load in the studio and as you can see we have our mushroom. As you can see it's just like we uploaded it uh, as we made it event in the program and it's a little mushroom. Now I made two others earlier it's a bowl basically, uh, it's actually the same, I am just resized it here and I'm gonna use that to show you that it collides like it should so basically if we were to go over here it will actually be collidable as a object. As you can see, I'm inside of this bone. We can jump into the big one and go inside of it too. Like this. It really works awesome. Which is super cool. Um, the same will be as to this mushroom. It will probably roll around a bit like a mushroom. Yeah, like that, as you can see. It's really cool. Now, if you were to go into uh, the the mesh in the uh, properties file you can see here the collision fidelity you can change that to box if you would like it to be as a box basically but it's really cool how they have upgraded this to really work collisionly or whatever you want to call it <laughs> I'm making up my own words right now but right now um, as we put box it should behave like a box so we can't go inside of it anymore but yeah that's it for this tutorial guys so Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!